Okay, so you guys have been infected with this uh, web searches or your, basically your browser, your homepage keeps getting redirected to this istar.websearches.com. I'm going to show you how to get rid of it on three browsers, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Mozilla Firefox. And we're going to start off with Google Chrome. So first thing is first. What you guys got to do first is you have to go into your control panel and go into your add remove programs. Now the thing is, some of you, depending on where you actually uh, downloaded uh, this browser hijacker from, is going to be um, installed or loaded on different places. So what you guys want to do first is look in, the, look in the Add Remove Programs, and this is what you want to look for. Okay, let me uh, bring this up here. Okay, if you have any of these on here, okay. If you have the word start, web, search, searches, start search, search can do any of these in your program files, in your that, that's actually an install program, get rid of it. What you can do is you can do a search up here in the top right hand corner. What you can do is like, for example, this E A R, you can type in the word search. See if anything anything down here matches on search. And if it looks suspicious, go ahead and uninstall it. Now the thing is if you have something installed on there recently or when you're um, when you started noticing you were getting this uh, browser hijacker on that particular date everything that you installed on that particular day get rid of it if you're not sure what date and you, you install stuff uh, the previous day the day after whatever delete everything if you're not sure what it is just uninstall it some of you are going to have this in your um, in this list here some of you aren't okay Probably about half of you are going to have something in here that's related to it. That's why it keeps reinstalling itself when you think that you uninstall it. And you have to go through other areas of the browser as well to get rid of it. So anyway, so let's say you had one of these uh, words in there that you, that's quite suspicious and you got rid of it. Okay, great. Next step now. Open up Google Chrome. Google Chrome's the first one, okay? Top right-hand right -hand corner, right over here. We want to click on here and we want to go down to settings go to settings and then we have four things we want to do in here okay first thing on startup look right here click on set pages make sure this i starts not in here if it is go ahead and exit out next place is right below it appearance where it says set home page or show home button Click on change. Make sure that the um, iSearch is not on, uh, on here. If it is, go ahead and exit out. Next place, right below appearance, look on here where it says search engines. Click on search engines. Make sure it's not here on top nor on below. Something you don't know what it is, you just go ahead and highlight it and click on the X, get rid of it. Last thing to do for Google Chrome is what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down to the very, very bottom of this page and it says uh, show advanced settings here. Go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to scroll all the way down again to the very, very bottom. And it says right here, it says reset browser settings. You want to reset it. Now remember, when you guys reset any browser, you're going to lose all of your cookie. Your, your co cookies are going to get deleted. Your favorites are going to be gone. Your history is going to be gone. It's basically going to be like a fresh uh, browser, like a fresh install. So once you click on res uh, reset, close and reopen Google Chrome, and you should be good to go. Now let's move on to Internet Explorer. Okay, so Internet Explorer. Uh, make sure you remember, first thing you got to do is go into the control panel, add remove programs, and make sure... If any of those words, web, searches, or start, and you're not familiar with it, uninstall it. Now open up Internet Explorer, top right hand corner, you want to go into your settings for Internet Explorer. I'll click on there, and then you want to go to Manage Add-ons. Right here, Tools and Extensions. Make sure you don't have that I Start Web Searches in here. If it is, simply you want to click it, and you want to disable it. Next place is Search Providers. Click on that. Make sure iSearch web searches is not in here either. If it is, highlight it and you want to remove it. Next place, go back to the top right hand corner and click on that um, 
that little icon there and we want to go to internet options internet options make sure your home page is not set on iSearch just make sure it's set on something that you want like for example google.com next place on the same window here click on advanced and then right here look at this reset you want to reset Internet Explorer. Don't forget, when you reset it, you're going to lose all of your favorites, your histories, your cookies are going to be deleted. It's all going to be gone. Once you reset it, close and reopen Internet Explorer, and you should be good to go. Now let's move on to Mozilla Firefox. Okay, here is Mozilla Firefox. Remember, guys, first thing to do is go into your Add Remove programs and delete any other word. If you see any words that says web or searches or start or search can do it or whatever, you don't know what it is uninstall it chances are if it's installed on that date where you start suspecting you had this browser hijacker that's probably it it could be in a different name they're always changing it you download these browser hijackers from different pro these free programs from uh, cnet downloads.com i mean anywhere you can get these browser hijacks uninstalled to your pro or your computer from a free software anyway so you have mozilla firefox open top left hand corner the little orange thing you want to go there, then you want to go down to add-ons. Click on add-ons. Right here under extensions, if you see anything to do with iStart web searches, you want to go ahead and you want to disable it. Next thing, click on plugins down here. Anything to do with uh, iStart web searches here, you want to go ahead and deactivate it. Next thing, top left hand corner again, click on that little orange rectangle there and you want to go to options. And from here, make sure your home page is set on to the home page that you want it. For example, it could be google.com. Last and final step for Mozilla Firefox. What you want to do is you want to go back to a open browser here and if you look on the right hand side where this uh, search bar is, you want to click on this little down arrow. Mine's, the default is on Google and you want to go to manage search engine. I'm sorry, this is the second to the last step. And if you have anything in here with I start a web searches, you just want to highlight it. And you want to remove it. Last and final step, you want to reset the browser guys. So top left hand corner again, click up here. This time you want to go to help, then go to troubleshooting information. Once this page opens up, look on the top right hand side and it says reset Firefox. You go ahead and reset Firefox. Now don't forget when you reset uh, any browser, you're going to lose all of your history. Your cookies are going to be deleted. Your bookmarks and favorites are going to be gone. Anyways, once you reset, close and reopen Firefox and you should be good to go. Thanks.